One of my favorite things about fountain pens is that you don't have to compromise on quality if you'd like to get an affordable one. So in this video, I'm going to celebrate that delightful fact by sharing what I believe to be the seven best fountain pens that are under $25. Okay, we're kicking things off with the Pilot Varsity. Now here we have a disposable fountain pen, but remember what I said about not having to compromise on quality? Well, the Pilot Varsity has a habit of making people do this thing. When they realize that they've been leaving their pen in a drawer for three months and then they pick it up and it writes flawlessly. I mean, that would be impressive for like a $300 pen, let alone a fountain pen that sells for less than five bucks. For less than $10, you can pick up a Platinum Preppy. While the Varsity is limited to only one nib size, the Preppy allows you to choose from extra fine, fine, or medium. Being a Japanese brand, the extra fine is going to be extra fine, which is popular and not so easy to manufacture. So being able to get one for like seven bucks is kind of amazing. Now I have to give some love to the Preppy's cousin, the Platinum Profonte. That pen probably wins the Aesthetics Award, but it's a hair more expensive and it performs the same. I picked the Preppy as my official choice because Platinum's converter is a wee bit pricey. And if you're gonna splurge for that one, then the Preppy keeps the cost down. Do you wanna know what I think is the best pen on this list? The Pilot Kakuno. Okay, the colors are a bit funky. The design's a little bit awkward, but hear me out. The nib is the same nib that Pilot has on pens up near $60. The Kakuno is currently $13.50 as of spring 2022. And that's not to say that anything with this nib above this price range is overpriced, because it's certainly not. It just means that here, you're getting like a $60 experience on a $14 pen. Now we need to address one more thing. The Kakuno nibs. They have faces. Depending on the model or the nib size, the Kakuno will have an adorable little smile waiting for you every time you write. I just love it. It's actually not my personal favorite on the list, but I have to say it's the best in my opinion. Okay, time for something different. The Sailor Compass High Ace Neo is different from the rest of the pens on this list because these pens only come with calligraphy nibs. You can also call them stub nibs, but the point is this point. Ah. These nibs have flat tips, not rounded ones. So the line they put down on paper looks more like a ribbon than a uh, string or rope. Anyway, it's wide in one direction and then thin in the other direction. So being able to practice some cool lettering styles just for 20 bucks makes this pen a tremendous value. And it's also got a clear feed. So that's both fun to watch and you get to see when you've got it totally clean. Of course, we have to mention the Pilot Metropolitan. This is one of the most popular pens in the industry and is responsible for introducing many fountain pen fans to the hobby. This might've been your first pen. The Metro delivers the same writing experience as the Kakuno, which is great, but has a coated brass body with a streamlined profile. So it's going to appeal to a wider variety of preferences as opposed to the clunky funkiness of the Kakuno. It feels very solid, especially for a pen in the $20 range. Another benefit to this pen is that while it may not have a smiley face nib, it does come with a converter. So you can get started with bottled ink right away without needing to drop a few more dollars on a converter. The Metro is a super popular pen for very legit reasons. For a few dollars more, you can try the Diplomat Magnum. This one comes in a bunch of great colors, all with a really nice pearlescent finish, but the prismatic purple is definitely the best, right? They're lightweight. They have a little cutout in the barrel where you can see your ink level, but what I really think makes this pen one of the best under 25 is the nib, because it's a little bouncy. Granted, it's still a pointy piece of stainless steel, but for a small, affordably priced steel nib, it provides an extraordinarily comfortable writing experience that's easy to love. Okay, so remember when I said that I thought the Kakuno was the best, but maybe not my personal favorite? Well, that distinction happens to belong to the Pilot Explorer. So here we have the same nib as the Kakuno and the Metro, but the body is a combination of them both. Plastic like the Kakuno, streamlined like the Metro. It's super lightweight, which might lead some people to think that it feels cheap. I personally prefer it to the brass, but regardless of your preference, the Explorer brings variety to the table. Not just in terms of the color, because there are others on this list that have great color choices, but color, material, and finish. Meaning, you get some of your standard colors and some metallic colors, but then you get some wild cards thrown in the deck. The white is sharp and polished, the black matte is flat and soft, and the clear is it's clear, it's clear. They're all unique within this model, and I think that with fountain pens, your personal choice is such a big benefit, 
and the selection of the Pilot Explorers really allow you to find a color that you can connect with. If it wasn't obvious, I feel that there are some really wonderful fountain pens that are available under $25. And yeah, Pilot sort of owns this territory in my opinion. But if you just take a few steps outside that $25 door and start knocking on 30, then you're gonna be looking through the peephole at some Lamy and Twisby contenders. So maybe next time we'll open that door. I'm exhausted that analogy. Anyway, you get my point. Don't put too much stock into what I said was my favorite or best. I'm fickle and that's just my personal opinion. Bottom line though, any of the pens I mentioned are great for gifts, first time pens, for your travel pen or office decoy. You know, the pen you keep in plain sight so that the kids and coworkers don't mess with your expensive stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think, what you thought about my list, and what your edits might look like. I'm super curious to see. As always, you can see more of our videos here on the YouTube channel. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos and our weekly pencast. Have fun and ride on.